for joining today's webinar on property marketing strategies to expand your business with Peter from Box Brownie. Um, before we begin, I do just want to let everyone know that Allison James Estates and Homes is a nationwide brokerage which offers 100% commission, 100% support, and zero franchise fees. Why split your commission if you don't need to? You earned it all, so shouldn't you keep it all? Our goal at Allison James is to always give back to our agents by providing education, training sessions, live webinars, live events, and full broker support with the most up-to-date tools and technology available. We are always looking for new tools and ways to be able to provide them to our agents at a lower or discounted price so you can keep your hard-earned money. All of us here at Allison James hope you and your families are doing well during this time. We will continue to host webinars such as this one that will help you during these times and to bring knowledge and value that will help you stay connected to your clients and grow your business. Today's webinar is sponsored by our preferred lender, Movement Mortgage. For more information about Allison James Estates and Homes, please visit www.ajicareers.com. Let's go ahead and get started with today's topic. If you have any questions throughout today's presentation, please go ahead and submit your questions into the chat box on your Zoom control panel. Um, Peter will go ahead and try and answer questions along the way, but we will also host a Q&A session at the end of the presentation as well. So with that being said, I will now pass it over to our speaker today, Peter. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank you to Alison James and thank you to Movement as well uh, for putting this on. Um, and welcome wherever you are joining from. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming largely in America. Uh, you may you may be picking up that I am not American. Uh, I have a funny voice accent. Uh, it is because I am in Australia. <clears throat> in fact, it is it is 3 a.m. on Friday. Um, yes, that's correct. I live in your future, and I'm um, I'm coming to you all the way from. Oz today very happily to do so. I know um, you know a lot of you who are online will be going 3 a.m. The Aussie is nuts, but um, it's great to be here. Now, look, uh, if you're in the ch if you are online and you're listening, feel free to post where you're from in the chat. I'll I'll keep an eye on that as I go through this presentation. Um, and if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them as we go. If there are any that require more explanation, I'm going to park them and we'll come back to them at the end. Uh, if you haven't heard of boxbrownie.com, contrary to popular perception, we do not sell hash brownies to relax the transaction process. Uh, in fact, we don't sell brownies at all. Um, the brownie is this camera here, actually. It's shaped like a box. I can see people starting to type in the chat. Thank you for that. Um, yes, so this was the brownie. It was bought out in 1901. Uh, it says brownie on the front there, if you can see that. Uh, it was shaped like a box and known as the box brownie. And the slogan was, you take the photo, we do the rest, which is very, very much in line uh, with what we do as a photo editing company. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick in. We are a website at any stage, any of the things that you hear about today, I'm going to be talking about marketing and some of the products are referenced. If you need to go and have a look at any of those, they're at boxbrownie.com. Uh, just real quick before we start, we don't charge a subscription. There's no minimum use. There's no catch. So a lot of the products that you'll talk that you'll hear me talk about today, are just they're just pay as you go. So I, I wanted to divide this into a couple of parts. I've got four case studies that we're going to look at for marketing. Uh, there is no doubt, regardless of who you are, where you are in your real estate walk, I'm going to cover off on some kind of um, tip or tool that will assist you as far as marketing is concerned. We're going to start at the very basic. If you're more advanced, hang around because that, that will come um, as, we, as we progress. Uh, what you're actually looking at on the screen at the moment, now I'm assuming you can all see it, type uh, yes in there if you, if you can, no if you can't. Uh, you're actually looking at, at, at Tony Stark or an Iron Man video, it's Iron Man 2. And what Tony Stark has just fi finished doing in this video, um, I'm, I'm not much of a Marvel fan, but one of the cool things he did is he gave people an immersive experience of a memory that he had by actually sitting inside that room. And why I put this up to start is this is where I believe we're headed as far as marketing is concerned. I think um, it, certainly the COVID period that we're in, a lot of you will be in stay in place. Um, and that's not dissimilar to the, the areas around the world. Um, a lot of you are going to be um, looking at various forms of immersive marketing in order to, to actually go and sell property. And that's really, really, really important because um, I believe immersive marketing is where the future is. In fact, we have a studio here in Australia just behind me where I could put mum and pop, 
pa in there. I can put Mr. and Mrs. Smith and I can actually walk them through a property virtually um, that we've captured using 360 degree cameras. So that kind of tech is getting there. And I show that at the start just to show you um, the future of marketing. It's um, really important to an actually have a look at where we've come from. And um, I know I know I don't look that old or I'm at least hoping that you agree with me on that. Um, but when I first started in real estate, um, I have 19 brokerages here in Australia, aside from uh, um, being the, the uh, industry evangelist for Box Brownie. Um, I started using this camera and, and, and that stuff inside it, that's called film. So we would take that film and we would actually go and develop it. Um, this is this is how I began in real estate. I would get not two exposures done, but I would get three exposures done. Uh, the first exposure would go into the window. Uh, the second exposure would go into a, a display book that would sit at the office. And the third exposure would go in my little display book just in case I ran into somebody who wanted to buy a house. Uh, my local paper, in fact, when I began in 1998, only had classifieds that look like this. There was no picture. I had to describe the house in 32 characters, uh, which was ironically became a Twitter thing. So we'd have to write it. Um, I used to send my copy off to the paper on this machine. This is called a facsimile machine. For those of you who, um, who aren't aware, especially any millennials out there, um, this, is, this is how I used to transact. And in 2000, 2001, so it wasn't very long into my real estate career, these couple of things came. So the Canon PowerShot was a digital camera that came out. And the REA group refers to our low online portal. But uh, for you, that would be something like an MLS. Came about in about the 2000s. And I, I could start putting things online. I wasn't so reliant on print. And over a period of time, we saw print phase out. So that's where our marketing's from. We've looked a little bit at the future. Where, where is it currently at? So all of these things that you have popping up on your screen at the moment, these are all mediums that one can use to market property. Um, it's by no means exhaustive, but these are the, you know, the top 10, if you want to call it that. Um, indeed, the top five are here. And, and I'll go over them just fairly quickly. So images, obviously, we have images that, that you use to market property. Copy is like the, the text that you would write in regards to market property. Email refers to email campaigns that you might send out about a property. Video, obviously video content that you create about a property. A franchise website would be like AGI corporate, AJI corporate.com um, is the Alison, uh, Alison James website that you can go to and you know, that would be their franchise website. SMS campaigns or text message campaigns are also a really, really good way of marketing. Uh, brochures refer to the hard copy brochures that you would hand out. Um, more and more getting digital as well. So maybe PDFs that you can send out. Window cards refer to displays at physical premises. Um, you have things like social media, which you can, you know, you can put on, on Facebook or, or Instagram or even TikTok is getting um, some attention these days. Floor plans are obviously things that you can use to market a property. An aggregator uh, might be something like a portal um, that you it propagate to after your MLS. Signage is anything that sits at, at the actual property. Aerial images of drone photography, obviously 360 degrees virtual tours and a single website would be 123smithstreet.com, something along those lines. And now why I put all of these up on the screen is I think as agents, we've forgotten that our job is, you know, we, we go out there every day and we think well, like, this is what I have to do. I have to go and sell a house. But I think we've forgotten that um, the actual real job that we have is we are listing products that we need to market to a target audience. And it's that progression. We have listed a product. We need to market that product and, and it needs to, you know, there are several target audiences sometimes, or just an individual target audience that we, we should be looking to market that to. And the important part of these things that you see in front of you is that these are the mediums with which you need to get that message to that target audience. So for example, let's say um, the, the product that you have listed or the house that you have listed is going to suit a millennial. It has everything about it. It might be a unit near a, a university, somewhere along those lines. You, you're probably going to utilize the medium of social media more than actually printing brochures out. Let's say the product that you're about to market to a target audience is probably in the demographics of of older baby boomers, maybe even retirees. Well, you might look down the area of print or 
brochures and things like that. So these mediums should actually sit on a wall. And every time you go to market a property, you, you, you've just listed a property, you actually sit there and you go, right, what mediums are going to suit this campaign to market the house in the best possible light um, that, that's out there? So I'd encourage you to, to keep a copy of this because I think it'll help next time you're listing. Um, marketing. My encouragement to you is you're going to hear tons of things today. We're going to go through actually how we market property. Do one thing better today than that you did not do yesterday. And why I say that is I've spoken to a lot of people after this, um, this conversation or this session whereby they have tried to do 50 things at once and they fall over in a heap. So by all means, take notes. Uh, this has been recorded as well. So you'll, you'll get a, a copy of that. By, by all means, take notes and do all of those kind of things, but try and move yourself forward one step at a time to come up with a plan. Um, at the outset, I'm going to say, and this is not a disclosure, I just say I, we as behalf of Box Brownie recommend using a professional photographer at all times. Um, there are parts of this session that there are extenuating circumstances, like for example, stay in place. Um, so we'll, we'll come to those in, in a matter of minutes. Um, I'd take a photo of this screen. <laughs> this is this is one of the most important screens um, that you're going to see when it comes to marketing a property. Uh, I call it the plan, but I'm going to show you the documented evidence. So I, I quite often run into agents who are telling me what is best as far as the marketing is concerned for a property. Always, always I run into agents and they're telling me these are the, I know what's best for the property. This plan with the five things that you see here in order of preference is an ongoing report. So if you want to go and have a look at it, it's there. Um, the National Association of Realtors since 2013, every year religiously has conducted a survey. They call it a generational trends survey of home buyers and sellers. Uh, the 2021 just came out. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Every single time in that survey, and I'll just jump ahead to it now, there is a thing here that says the value of website features, which tells you in age category, what purchases actually want as far as the purchasing of a property. So I've disseminated it here. So these are the five things that your National Association of Realtors is telling you purchases want to see when it comes to a property. Um, and in order of preference. So the number one thing is good imagery. They want good Good pictures. The, the number two thing, which is a conglomerate of a bunch of ones, is, is copy with essential detail. They want all of the information in there. Number three is a floor plan. We're going to talk about those um, coming up. Four is a 360 degree or a virtual tour. And five is video footage. And you'll see on the next screen, um, video footage actually features well down the list, much to a lot of people's dis, um, surprise. They, they, uh, there is a commonly held belief amongst agents that video is the most important thing. It, it definitely isn't. Uh, this actually tells you here. So if you look at all buyers, 87% of buyers believe that um, good imagery or photos are the most important thing when it comes to a property. And that, that's this year. So this survey is this year. Um, then I have grouped all of the green arrows together because they are all copy about the property. They're all information about the property. So if you look at all of those green arrows and you just put them together, the detailed inf information about the property for sale features second. Um, then you have floor plans, which is the third most requested thing. You have virtual tours, which is the fourth most requested thing. And all the way down the list, you have videos. We're gonna call out the fifth most requested thing. So if you were to follow that formula, um, you would absolutely every day of the week be covering off on everything a purchaser wanted to see. Now, I'm going to go through four case studies and we're going to talk about how you do that to the best of your abilities in whatever market you're in. Case study one is you're taking your own photos. Now, for the people who use professional photography, don't zone out now. Um, every single agent needs to be able to account for themselves with a camera at some point in their real estate career. I know I did it multiple times. So pay attention to case study one. So the first thing I would do if I'm in case study one is I'd send out a pre-photography checklist. What is a pre-photography checklist? I hear you ask. It is this. Uh, this is a free checklist. Um, we have it at our website at boxbrownie.com forward slash B. You'll have to scroll all the way down the bottom. I'll just put that in the chat. So that's our, our blog is what it is. So www.boxbrownie.com forward slash B. And what you are looking for is the pre-photography checklist on that page. It is down the bottom. We created this some time ago. 
Um, now, I understand that if, you know, let's say there are tenants, they're not necessarily going to follow this pre-photography checklist, but vitally important. Honestly, if you're going to go to shoot a house, I'd send it out. It's free. It's an email. Uh, it's comprehensive. There's four or five pages there that if they just follow the list and check it off, it'll be brilliant. Second, perfect your shooting style. So there's, there's a couple of cameras that I've got here. Uh, in all honesty, we used to recommend the Canon EOS M3, M4, M5, and M6. And we used to recommend the, the Nikon D7200. Uh, really, really frankly, in the last two months, the iPhone 11 and the, the Samsung uh, S20, I think it's called. Um, to be honest, if you're, if you're packing those cameras, you're, you're, you're doing really well. Um, it's really hard to recommend you go to the Canon EOS M3 over an iPhone 11 um, these days. The, the wide angle lenses on them are just brilliant. So, you know, we're now at a stage where you can actually get professional photography with smartphones. Um, and that might, might sound a sacrilege, but you're going to see it. So at the outset, it looks like what we may do is just replace the sky and the grass. Um, this is a $1.60 edit. That's not what we do. The majority of what we do is return the image to what the eye actually sees when it gets to the property. So, you know, these are overnight edits. They're $1.60. Instead of putting this rubbish up on the NLS, spend $1.60 and actually make it professional. Uh, these are all professional edits. This particular um, image here was taken on an iPhone 6 we enhanced it for $1.60 and it came out looking absolutely amazing. So, you, you know, these, this is not a, a witch doctor science. These, this is the edit that professional photographers do. So it's a $1.60 per image. It's really not hard. Um, we're demonstrating a technique called shooting into the sun now where uh, you, you've covered the sun up with your hand. Uh, you tap on your smartphone to focus on the front of the building and we can enhance that for $1.60. Um, it's night and day that really I, I would as a very minimum, like I know a lot of you are going to be using professional photography, but as a very minimum, if you have to take photos yourself, you can certainly do it and you can make them look professional. So the second thing I'd be doing is if you're marketing it yourself and you're shooting it yourself is I'd use a floor plan. Not this one. <laughs> um, why I say use a floor plan. Um, let, let's, let's go back to that list. So floor plans are the third most requested thing by your purchases on, on the list of um, items requested in, in all generations. In fact, 50% of your purchases say that a floor plan is essential to the sale of a property. But let's look at a few stats. So your MLSs are telling me that less than 5% of listings have a floor plan. So your purchases want one, but you're not including one is what I'm hearing. Um, how hard is it to do a floor plan? Well, here's one we drew ourselves. You can edit that for $24. Um, and there you have a black and white one. So it's quite simple to do them up. Here's one that's sent to us on the back of McDonald's napkin. This is $28 to take it from there to there. Um, in my real estate career, I became very, very good. And if like, here's my tip. If you're at a stay in place at the moment is practice drawing your own house. Um, you can do these and they don't have, you don't have to draw them by the way. If your owner has a copy of the blueprint, just take a smartphone photo and send that in. You can redraw them to 3d. That's a $32 edit. It's really not expensive. It's not hard. Um, uh, these are overnight. That last one, the 3d floor plan that you see on your screen now is 48 hours and not complex. So that's case study one. You're taking your own photos case study two. You're using a professional photographer. Uh, the first thing I would do is prepare the property for photography. So guess what that involves? So that's right, sending out a pre-photography checklist. So again, you get this at our blog, which is in the chat. Um, I would absolutely do this. Like do your photographer a favor, <laughs> send out a pre-photography checklist. It's only in your benefit that the property is presented better. So um, that's the first thing I do. The second thing is I'd hold your photographer accountable. Um, the word professional in front of photographer in, in North America is a highly subjective term, very subjective. Um, I've, I've seen very few that uh, are delivering professional quality results. So let me go through a few. This is a $16 million house and forget a lot of what is going on it uh, in the image. There's a lot of things there that I don't like. The number one thing that I draw your attention to, and this is what you should be looking at with your photography is can I see clearly outside the window as if my eyes were there? And the, in this instance, you can't. There's a white hazy film over the outside. So you can't see outside those windows. The photographer hasn't used a technique called bracketing. 
this one's better, right? But if you look at the top two windows on the left-hand side, you can still see that white hazy film. That is because the photographer hasn't used a technique called bracketing. There's also some other things here, like they haven't lit the fireplace, but this is considered to be professional photography. Here's another one. This is an $8 million house in Colorado. Um, do you notice the blue tint to the windows, which is not there? It's not, it's not a true tint. Um, I, the tint indicates to me that the photographer has not bracketed these images. I can't see outside the way that my eyes would. Um, forget the fact that in these images, it looks as though Aunty Betty may pass in that room in the coming weeks. I still can't see outside the windows at the back. So whilst this is an amazing property in its own right with those pressed metal ceilings and beautiful chandeliers and whatever else it has, the property hasn't been shot professionally. So how should it look? Cause I know like what you're going to do is you're going to go to all of the property photos that you've got from the inside. You're going to be looking to see if you can see out. Let's have a look at some. So this is, this is a $100,000 property in Australia. Can you see how clear the outside or the exterior window detail is? That is because the property has been shot using a, a, a technique called bracketing and it has been professionally edited. Same with this one. Again, $100,000. It's not an expensive property. It has been shot using a technique called bracketing and it has been professionally edited. So make sure that the second tip I've got for you is make sure that your professional photographers are actually professional. Um, you know, don't, don't be one of the people who just hire the guy that has professional in front of his name, who's his best friend, sister's girlfriend's uncle's dog's father has bought a Nikon camera. That is not a professional. A professional has years of experience, angles, attention to details, a technique called bracketing, a wide angle lens, a flash if necessary. So that's that's the the number two. Hold your photographer accountable. Number three is a, is a really important one. Photography is just the beginning. So I don't know how many agents I speak to in North America or in America in general, whereby they say to me. Uh, my marketing is done when I've sent the photographer out to site, they've sent the photography back to me and I've written my copy. It's good to go. It's up on the MLS. Well, that's, that's completely wrong. Um, you need to have a look at your photography and decide what you need to do there. And there's a bunch of edits that come as part of that. So here is the most powerful one that I can suggest. This one is called twilight conversion where we take a daytime photo and we digitally convert it to a twilight. Now that is a $4 edit, right? $4. Uh, it's less than your cup of coffee at Starbucks. $4 edit. The there's nothing wrong with the first image. The second image gets four times more clicks on the MLS. So just have a think about that stat and let that sit in for a second. Um, there's nothing wrong with this image. This one gets four times more clicks on, on the MLS. Which one are you going to use as your hero shot on the listing? Every day of the week, it has to be the twilight conversion. Um, again, nothing wrong with this image, but there's something about the twilight conversion. There's something emotional about it. It might be the time of day that you're coming home under normal circumstances. It could be the time that you're spending with your significant other, which may be an animal for all I care. Uh, you could be cracking a beer or wine. There's something emotional about the twilight conversion that makes it absolutely bang. Um, the first one is not displaying there, but you get the picture. You can understand the toilet conversion. So I would highly suggest using one of these. You only have to do one or two of them. That $4, they come back to you overnight. That's one edit. Second edit is item removal. So the best agents in the world will use item removal and you will never know they've done it <laughs> because the item is not, not there. Now at the outset, don't use this for dodgy purposes. Don't take down power lines, trees, those kind of things use this to remove items that are not relevant to the sale. So at the moment, I would argue that this image is displaying a kitchen clutter salesperson, not a real estate agent. Take out the kitchen clutter. Don't leave it in there. That's an $8 edit. Pay attention to the images that you get back from your photographers. I don't know who eats that many eggs and I certainly don't want to be caught in the elevator with them, but it's all I can look at when I look at that image. Remove that. $8 edit. It comes back to you overnight. It's not rocket science. I love the grand piano. I don't like the clutter. Take the clutter out. Um, it's so simple. Now the most often I see these used for a cars out the front of a property. Um, uh, you know, that 
someone's parked there, you can't move it. Um, sometimes in, in new home and construction, there's a, a dumpster out the front of a property. That's, that's where this is really relevant. Or where there are things that get in the way of the sale. I've seen messy bathrooms, messy kitchens, messy bedrooms. Um, we've all seen on the MLS, the lady with the 1,000 cats. We take them out as well. So item removal is for any of that. Virtual staging is $32 per image. This is our most popular, uh, very, very important edit. So you've got a vacant edit. I think the reality is here, um, Jim and Jill Smith are sitting on their couch at home, probably in their underwear. You, you really don't want to be there at that particular point. They're surfing the MLS and you need to understand that they don't know what that space does. So, um, you know, my best friend who's, who's 40, that gives you an idea of how old I am. Um, my best friend who's 40 has said to me on multiple occasions, Pete, I've only ever been through two vacant images, one of those, uh, two vacant houses, one of those I rented and the other I purchased. So, you know, we walk around with agent goggles on because we know what that space does inherently, but purchasers don't know what that space does. So, you know, add the furniture, it's $32. This is not a Photoshop edit, by the way. Just remove that from your terminology. This is a CGI edit. These are the same guys that do Harry Potter and Star Wars. You don't walk out of the Star Wars cinema going, gee, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber wasn't real. It's $32 per image. Um, look, also, I, I can't see too many questions coming in. If you have questions, put them in the chat and I'll address them as we go because the chances are the question that you're thinking of, everyone else is thinking of, um, especially with regards to staging. There's a lot of um, misconceptions out there. So um, virtual staging is the digital addition of furniture and decor to a property and importantly, furniture and decor. Um, if you're adding chandeliers or cupboards that aren't there, you're doing it wrong. Also, if you're doing it to beautify the property, you're doing it wrong. The only reason you do this is to demonstrate what that space does. Importantly, we don't just add it. We actually measure the floor to the ceiling. We measure the windows and the doors so we can get that bed in perspective. If you put a small bed in that room, you misrepresent the house by making the room look big. If you put a big bed in the room, you misrepresent the house by putting a small bed in there. So also go to providers that adhere to ethical marketing standards. And that's very, very important. Um, not all virtual staging, staging edits are equal. Uh, and, and importantly, if you can tell it's been virtually staged, it's not ours. So, so bear that in mind. This is a $32 edit. It's 48 hours. Most of it um, will come back to you in, in 24 hours. So um, I'd highly encourage you to use that if you've got a vacant space. Item removal and staging is the merging of two edits together. So this guy can't get a girlfriend and he's not sure why. Um, I would suggest it probably has something to do with the fact that every time she comes over, he's already in love with Smurfette. But obviously this is a massive detractant from looking at the property. I would remove and replace that. Um, so it gives you an idea of the scale. It's $8 to remove, $32 to replace it. Um, so item removal and virtual staging. Actually, let me just say that this is more often used when there is dated furniture at a property. So Auntie Betty's old furniture and heirlooms. And it's a very difficult conversation sometimes to have with elderly people to take, tell them that their 1,000 year old cupboard that they've got in there it may stand in the way of the sale. So sometimes that's a conversation I just don't have. Uh, by the way, on virtual staging, uh, for those of you who, who are a little bit nervous about using it, I hear all the time, what do I do when I get to the property and the, the furniture is not there. Honestly, that's an objection. If my agents can't handle that objection, I, I, I'd probably say there's a bigger issue at play there. Um, the best time to inspect a property is when it's vacant. Um, you can see under the sofas, you can see behind the walls. So it's if you're actually talking about buying a property, the best time to inspect that property is when it's vacant. Secondly, if you're really worried about that, you can put an art easel or a music stand up in the room and you can put the second image, which is the staged image on it. Um, for the record, we always recommend using professional staging if the seller can pay for it. Um, for the 96% of cases where the seller cannot afford virtual staging as cannot cannot afford physical staging use virtual staging i'm also aware that there's a lot of people uh in here from california and at the moment physical staging is not allowed uh in that in that state so um you know 
pay attention to your local laws as well and, and adhere to those. So that's case study two. That's dealing with edits that sit on top of professional photography. Uh, so we've dealt with you're taking your own photos, you're using a professional photographer. Case study three is you want to be better at marketing or you have a profit property with special needs. And we all have these come along. That's where virtual renovation exists. So virtual renovation realistically sits between about 50 and $150. Uh, it's a seven to 14 day turnaround. So this is a fairly hectic edit, but um, highly important. So um, here is a great example of where it is useful. You can see in this image, this is a squatter's house. Um, so the purchases are coming through and they're saying, yes, Mr. Seller, I understand that you've got 300,000, 400,000, whatever the price may be on it. I understand that you've got that on it. I understand that it's good value at that price. I've had a look around the area. I don't want the hassle of having to renovate this property from what it is now to, to what it can be. That's a common objection. Uh, you get it most often with kitchen colors. I don't like the kitchen color. I don't like the floor color. Um, these are all objections that people throw up. They're called deconstructive object, uh, objections where they tear about apart the property because it doesn't match what they actually want. That's fine for handling all of those. I would do this. So uh, you need to be careful with this edit. It needs to be he heavily disclosed because you are physically altering the property. So just as a disclaimer, it needs to be heavily disclosed. Um, I would, I would demonstrate to them what that property looked like renovated. So I would do this to this. So from before to after I would give them when they give me that objection, I would give them this second image and I would give them a maintenance contractors quote on what it costs to actually get from here to here. And I would encourage them to make their offer less that co contractors quote. So it, it, this is a way of using marketing to overcome an objection about a property. Sometimes too, it can be for demonstrating potential. So in this particular instance here, I knew that my purchasers wanted a pool in the backyard. Now I, a pool designer, but I can draw a squiggle on a piece of paper and I absolutely did. So I drew a squiggle on a piece of paper and our designers came up with the pool for that space. And I then went and sold the dream by showing them the potential of what could actually be there. So you look, you need to leave yourself a bit of time. It's a seven to 14 day edit. Um, and it sits between 50 and $150. If you go to boxbrownie.com and click on the virtual renovation and just scroll down a little bit, you can actually see the prices there as to um, how they add up. It, it's a sliding scale. So if you want walls removed, that's one cost. If you want floors removed, that's another cost. And it adds up to give you a total. So you know what it is before you use it. Uh, it's also used in flipper scenarios to actually complete what's there. And you can give us as much or as little detail as you want. So in this instance, they gave us Sherwin-Williams paint colors. They gave us tiling. They gave us guide on furniture. Um, here is a great image uh, because this image is a porn star's house in the Hollywood Hills for sale at 27 million. Um, that's the reality. Really, really difficult to kind of sell this house. So the way I would do it is I would renovate that to demonstrate the potential of the beautiful room that it could be. And I'd give them a maintenance contractor's quote on what it costs to get there. So that's virtual renovation. Absolutely unbelievable for demonstrating the potential of a sale, even just aesthetically to the exterior. So that's if your property's got special needs. Uh, houses that don't exist yet. How do you market those? CGI and renders. So these start at $280 and work upwards. This is a house that doesn't exist yet. We've been given the floor plans or the builder's blueprint and we've created high resolution examples of what that will look like once it's, it's completed. Uh, it's so hard to sell a house that's intangible, but all of these things exist for that purpose. Um, so demonstrate, you know, if you're dealing with a builder or a developer, don't forget that you have access to the world's cutting edge tools on how to actually demonstrate what those spaces actually do. And, and of course, all of our products work in commercial. So if you're a commercial or a, a luxury agent, they, these things work there as well. Um, that's a, obviously a commercial restaurant that we looked at decking out, but we can do anything. So um, in the, in this image, we've taken a drone photography with, we've converted the drone image to twilight. We've removed the house in the middle of the picture. So there's a, a like a red brick house on the right. There is a house that looks very similar to that, that is currently on the, the middle lot. 
um, the, the developer is about to knock that, that house down and put up two townhouses, which are those things in the middle um, with the lights on. They don't exist yet. So the, the developer is selling those two houses, um, what we would consider to be off the plan or before that, they've even knocked the house down, which is very, very, very cool, very effective. Uh, we've done some snow renders for, for people up north in the US. Um, I don't know why, but we have. Uh, we can demonstrate things like this is just a sketch of a pool. So we've demonstrated what that resort pool would look like, but literally anything we can put branding on anything. Just make sure that if you're using these edits, you're properly disclosing it. Finally, we talked about a couple of things at the start. We talked about um, good imagery. We've dealt with that copy. Um, I haven't, I haven't come across today, but we actually write copy for you. It's at our website. Uh, the third thing was floor plans. We've discussed that. Uh, the fourth thing, on that list was 360 degree or virtual tours. Now uh, we, d we actually do virtual tours. They're a do it yourself. Um, and it's pretty easy for you to do it. I, I hear a lot of people saying, I don't know how, or there's some kind of obstacle or hurdle to them doing it. Um, here is a camera that we recommend called the Ricoh Theta V. It starts anywhere on Amazon between 280 and $350, depending on how available it is. We add that to a monopod. Monopods are about $50 online. So, you know, for, under, under $500, you can get yourself a 360 degree camera and a monopod and you can go and shoot. So all you do is you put the camera, um, do I have one here? I've misplaced mine, but it's about the size of my hand. You put that on a monopod and you walk out with your smartphone, you get out of shot and you press shoot and it captures 360s like the one that you're watching um, swirl around at the moment. So you can take um, as many of these as you want as a, at a property, I would suggest you really only need one per room. Um, and our virtual tours start at $16. So this one that you're looking at is $16 to put together. Uh, really simply, all you do is you take the photos, you upload them to boxbrownie.com and we can create this tour for you. And in line with all of the cool image editing that we do, we are also have some tricks that are very unique. Um, so again, this is no subscription like all of the others, you pay as you go but we have photo editing. So you can add staging to a 360 space. You can add the furniture, you can remove the furniture, you can put it back in. Um, you can edit the images. If that's something you want to do, you can even remove items. But this is a really, really awesome way of actually getting a buyer um, some kind of immersive experience at a property. And, uh, you know, did I mention there's no subscription? So this is just pay as you go. As you use each tour, you pay. And $16 is the average price. So you can use that um, however you want, wherever you want. You can add a floor plan to it. You don't have to. That's an optional feature. So, you know, as little or as much information as you want. Don't, don't forget to, um, these are the image edits that we do in the realm of 360. So it's not a known fact that we are the biggest 360 degree image editors in the world, as well as digital stills. So you'll see here, this is a French company called Nodal View, and you'll see the Retouch Legere, which is the light and then retouch on the right hand side. And you'll also see the home staging, which we, we've added to this commercial space. Um, we can do all of that. Uh, the image enhancement is $4 to add uh, virtual staging to one of these 360 globes is $64. It does get quite expensive. So you don't even really want to do two or three hotspots. We also take all of the clutter out of a 360. So you'll see this, this is me swirling around in two 360 degree um, images. The first is the before where there was clutter everywhere. And the second, it has all of that removed. Um, that's a $32 edit. So we do that. Um, as well. Uh, finally, the last thing that I would say is with that camera, we talked about video with that Rico Theta camera, you can put it on a monopod as my good friend, Garrick Yan from the Asian Real Estate Association um, is demonstrating here. He, this is me actually swirling around his 360 degree video tour. Now we don't do video at Box Brownie, but why I'm showing you this is this is free to take once you've got that 360 camera. You can absolutely upload this to YouTube and YouTube recognizes it as a 360 degree video and you can send that out to as many people as you want. Um, it's, it's free of charge. Also, um, if you take a photo on the Rico Theta camera, just a singular photo, you can upload that to YouTube and it's, it's very interactive. People can swirl around. So that free uses of 360, I would absolutely, if there's one thing that you need to do today, I would absolutely be investigating 360 degree cameras. Finally, I've got five minutes left before I open up to questions. If you've got any, it's case study for the best marketing companies in the world do this. Um, now it starts off with the testing and measuring. So, uh, 
in my agencies, we have very, very extensive testing and measuring and auditing process. Where has the incoming inquiry come from? Um, so we can track what the effective cause of sale was. Was it a, a sign out the front of a property? Was it Facebook? Where did these people come from? Um, how long has it taken them to purchase? Um, and a bunch of other things on the way, like you know, what amount of money did they buy at? So we understand when the buyers are coming through, we've got all of this data that we've collected on incoming purchases that we can use to create something called a marketing policy and procedure. So here's the, here's the property and where this works best is you have a property that you sell on a regular basis. It might be one that's in an estate. It could be one that's near a hospital. It could be one that's near a university. Um, everybody comes across houses that are inherently similar. You can see in this image, there are three next to each other that are almost identical. <laughs> um, that, that is a, as a result of the restrictions placed on the build. Uh, the one that we're looking at is five beds three bath, the two car, it's two years old in what we call a gated estate. So that's obviously one that you need um, an entry point. Now we have, we know because we've sold 30 of these through our testing and measuring, we absolutely know that if we follow the next 15 steps, we're going to get that property sold at list value in about 30 days, 30 days or under. We know that because we've done it 30 times. Um, over and over and over again. And so when we go in to list a property with a seller or a vendor, whichever you refer to them, we use this. So here in Australia, we don't take 7,000 images like you guys do. Um, the stats on imagery is if you haven't told the story of the property in under 23 images, you're only looking at 3% of your buyers. So by the time the, the purchaser gets to the 24th image, there's only 3% of viewers left. So one thing that is in incredibly clear to us is I don't care how many images you put up on your MLS because I'm well aware that MLSs actually reward you for more imagery. That's not a good practice at all. Uh, there's no stats that say that that is excellent. Purchasers don't even want it. If, if you've got, if you haven't told the story in 20 pictures, you've missed the point. So for this po property, we'd get a professional photographer to do 15 shots. We would consider a dusk or a transition shot. We've looked at twilight conversions. If it's not furnished, we actually downgraded this. We wouldn't stage four to five, we'd stage two to three images. We found we didn't need to stage certain ones and they would be the living area and the master bedroom being the, the main area and maybe the outdoor living. We put a sign on the front front of the property and the front of the community gates because we knew we were getting inquiries from there. Now, here's one. We would use stock, area li and lifestyle pictures on file. What does that even mean? Well, um, stock lifestyle pictures are pretty easy. That is um, the photographer. I would have hired as part of my agency a photographer to go around and take photos of things that were uh, attractions to live near, shopping malls, uh, universities, schools, food destinations, things like that. I would have photos of parks, um, lakes, community walkways, whatever. They would sit on file back at the office. So we'd have them there. And ones that I knew were close to this, I would put in with the photos from here. Now, the stock aerial pictures is in every single one of my areas, I have sent a drone photographer up to take photos of my entire farming area so that when Mr. and Mrs. Smith comes into my agency, I can say, yes, I know 234 George Street. Here it is. I have the drone photography for it. You just look like a rock star when that happens. Um, so stock drone photos, I would add them to the listing. I would add to copy already written for that estate. So the estate owners have written copy. I would add to that. I would speak to the property um, specifically. I'd redraw the floor plan. We've been over that. And then eight to 12 here, I'd conduct a comprehensive 362 up. I would add the listing and the link for the 362 tour to the MLS. That's where I'd put them. I would add the images to the Facebook group, Greenfield Community Watch and Grasslands Community Notice Board because I know some of our buyers would come out of that. I'd use a qualification form prior to our application and I'd open it by appointment. Now, that seems really simple and it's only a guide. You don't have to follow it to the nth degree, but I knew that that would cost me about $265 if I was going to use a professional photographer to do all of that. Um, actually slightly less because I've, I've included more um, staging than necessary. 
And I know I would sell that property. So I used to walk in with so much confidence into a listing and go, here are the things that we know um, that we can do that are, are statistically proven and certainly proven through our, our experience to sell that property at list price in, in under 30 days. And that gives you a lot of swagger in a listing appointment. The best agents in the world are using these things. Consider testing and measuring in order to get them there. Um, so look, that's the end of my presentation. Um, hopefully you've gotten something out of this today and, and, you know, just be ready to unmute yourself or put some, um, questions in the chat. We are a website. You can sign up for free where you see it. There's no catches. There's no subscription. There's no minimum use. Um, it's pay as you go. Uh, you can download our brochure. If any of these products appeal to you, you can either write down that link, or if you've got an iPhone, you can actually mouse over that QR code and a link to our product brochure will appear on your site. So, um, you know, don't be afraid of taking a photo of that. If for whatever reason you can't get it working, um, certainly just take a photo and you can have a look at that link later, which is a short and bitly link. Um, I'm giving you a coupon code courtesy of um, AJI corporate and also um, movement, our, our sponsors today. The coupon code is BB webinar. It will enable you to not only $20 coupon code, but it will also give you um, three free image enhancements and one free twilight conversion. Um, now you'll need to enter that in this specific place. So um, that goes in here. I would be taking a photo of that because it's really hard to find. I don't know why we made it so hard to find. The coupon code is all capitals, BB webinar, and um, you can enter the coupon code there if, if you like anything you've seen today. But look, I'd welcome your questions. If there's something that you disagree with or you're not sure, please fire it at me. Um, the other thing is uh, you'll notice at our website, we've got a 24 seven phone number and a 24 seven chat. So if at any stage you get lost or you're not sh sure what you're doing, take advantage of both of those. And finally, um, here are my details. Uh, if yes, if you're not wanting to have a chat on here, if you're not wanting to ask any questions, feel free to hurl abuse at me at Peter at boxbrownie.com. I'm on all of the, the social medias except for Tinder and Grindr apologies out there, but, um, yeah, happily married, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, you will find me. I have a ridiculously long last name. Feel free to send me messages on there. But um, as far as that presentation is concerned, I hope there's been something of value. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to unmute yourselves now or just pop them in the chat and I'll answer them, um, especially hard ones. I love some good hard questions. So um, look in the interim while you're typing your questions, if there are any, thanks for joining. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this presentation today. Uh, as I said, I, I really hope you've gotten something out of it. Um, Liliana has said, I'm sorry, sorry, I missed the first 20 minutes of the webinar. That's no dramas because this is being recorded. Uh, just make sure that um, you're, you know, wherever you found out about this, you, you have your contact details on there. I would have assumed you've registered for it. So you'll probably get a copy of this recording at the tail end. Uh, Noel saying thank you for the great ideas and resources and that's no dramas and there are way more I mean I suppose this is all I can cover on property marketing in uh, 45 minutes um, I could speak about property marketing all day um, I, I really do believe um, you can you can get you know property marketing's proven to sell um, properties faster for more money so um, yeah by all means pay attention to it just try and skill your level up at a time uh, Benita has said, great name, Benita. That's my cousin's name. Uh, great information. Can't wait to get started. Thank you so much. Uh, Liliana, could you please tell me how you guys take a photo for a new listing? Uh, we actually don't take photos. So um, we're just an image editing company. So we're not a photography company. We just edit the images that are there. But while I've got you, um, especially uh, those of you, uh, Dan has said, thank you. Um, thank you for being here, Dan. While I've got you, there's one thing that I will show you that has come out in the last two weeks because I've got an extra, um, I don't know where Tori is. She's obviously on here, but I, I think I've got an extra five minutes. I just want to share something with you. Um, this is a brand new technique that has come out in the last two weeks with regards to taking photos or shooting photos yourself. Now I spoke about at the start of this session, I spoke about the fact that iPhones are getting better. They absolutely are. And check this out. So this, this is the technique. I referenced bracketing as a technique earlier in this conversation. What is bracketing? I hear you ask. Well, this image is indicative of what I see in professional photography in the U S um, the, the image itself looks pretty clear, but I, I referenced this. I cannot see outside the window, right? 
Bracketing is what photographers should do, and it involves putting the camera on a tripod and taking several photos at different light resolutions. So this is bracket one, bracket two, bracket three, bracket four, and bracket five. So they're the five brackets that exist. Now, what our image editing does, and this is still part of the $1.60, is we will then merge that together to create that. And you can, you can obviously see that makes a massive difference to the sale. You can see outside the windows, there's a $2 million view out there, which is well worth a look at. Um, uh, Liliana has just asked, I can get a photos with a photographer and send them back to you. Yes, that, that is correct. That's exactly right, Liliana. Um, now, what has happened in the last month is that um, not only, well, not really the last month, but the iPhone 11 camera is just mind-blowingly good. So is the Samsung S20. Let's just go with the iPhone 11. If you've got one of those and even an X at the moment, someone released this app. Natalie Petrenko um, released this app. It's a $6 app. Camera Pixels Pro, I would highly recommend you get a copy of this. Um, now, what, what you can do with this app, you can download this app to your phone. Um, you will need a tripod, which are about 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't have, need to be anything special. You will need a smartphone mount, which is also very cool. Um, you can also pick them up on Amazon. They're about um, 10 bucks, five to 10 bucks. Um, now you'll need the application settings and rather than get, than get them here because they've changed slightly since then, go to boxbrownie.com. It's like the second or third blog post down where it says um, how, to, how, to shoot professional photo, photo, how to shoot professional photos using an iPhone 11. Now you put those settings in and, and I'm going to compare that with the DSLR. So this is Dale Chumley using a Canon. He's a, a Box Brownie disciple, I suppose you'd call him. He uses his professional DSLR. He took brackets of three, bracket one, bracket two, bracket three. So those three, we merged them together and it created this, which is not a bad image, right? That's a fairly good image. You can see outside the windows. Now with his iPhone 11, he took seven brackets using that app. One, one, two, I know the first one's not displaying. It's just a dark version of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we merged them together to create that. Now let's have a look at that versus the DSLR. Not only is the iPhone 11 angle wider and you see more picture, but it's actually clear. We're actually getting killer results out of this, this particular app. Now here's another one. This is Jesse Peters. He's from um, Manitoba in, in Canada. He's been doing this ever since we showed it to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven images. You send them all to us and you ask for image enhancement and we enhance them and they look like this. And the results are just astounding. Here's another, another seven. Um, yeah, we, we're absolutely getting really, really good results out of this. Um, and it looks like my, my uh, display has locked up. So I'll just stop that share and get out of here. Hopefully you still got me on Zoom. Uh, my, my presentation has, has just quit. So look, um, if you're still with me, I hope that's a value to you. That's called Camera Pixel Pro. If you've got any questions on that, feel free to ask, uh, um, ask away. But aside from that, we're done for the time being. So I'm, um, yeah, I, I will hang around here and just see if, if anyone has any other questions to ask me. Uh, feel free to put them in the chat. You're welcome to unmute your microphones if you can. I don't know if you can. No, it looks like you can't. You can just talk. Um, but yeah, drop them in. Let me know. Otherwise, thank you for attending. I, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And certainly um, keep safe, stay safe. It's crazy times at the moment. Um, but it's been a delight having you all the way uh, from Australia um, at crazy early morning. It is Friday the 24th here. Um, or tomorrow, how shall we find you? Could you send us one more, one more time all info? Yes, I can. I'll run, run you over that just very quickly. Uh, just give me a second. So, uh, you'll find me, uh, Tori, Tori, is that you back online? It was, I was just going to say while you're pulling that up, I just wanted to remind everyone that we are going to go ahead and, uh, send everyone the recorded version of this. I know it was a lot of great information. So you guys will all get a recording of this webinar. Brilliant, um, which makes my job easier. So you're going to get a copy of that. Um, you also have my contact details are on there. Um, the coupon code I'll drop into the chat again. I'll put that to everyone. It is um, a BB webinar. So that will be in there. So all capitals BB webinar. Um, the 
blog that I referenced so much is www.boxbrownie.com forward slash B. So I would go to that. That's got about a hundred documents on it as to how to market better. And I think that's just about everything. Uh, there may be uh, one more thing I think was the location of the coupon code is this. So uh, there is where you would put the coupon code. I'm assuming you're seeing that there. Uh, you might want to take a photo of that. Look, thanks again for being here. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. It's, it's always humbling when, um, when I get to meet so many fantastic people. Of course, I'd love to do this more in person, but um, uh, times right now don't allow to that. I'd like to thank Alison James again, and particularly Tori for setting this up. Um, she's been very patient with me. I'd also like to ke- uh, thank M- Movement Mortgage, uh, the sponsors of today's webinar. Uh, it's very, very important to thank our sponsors because without which we wouldn't be here. So, um, Gold, thanks for having me. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Peter. And um, especially at that time of day, night, whatever you (laughs) want to call it. Um, I know someone on here said, get some sleep. So (laughs) so funny. I love it. But I'm super appreciative of you and everyone who's joining us. And this was so much great information. And I can't wait to share this with um, everyone. So thanks again to Peter for hosting this month's webinar and giving us a great presentation. I really hope everyone has a great day. And again, be safe out there. And we hope to see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, Peter. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.